The following is a torsion example of a hollow cylindrical section with three different thicknesses varying from the top to the bottom sections. Okay, If you have the ability to understand this example then you have total knowledge of circular uh, torsion and circular sections. Okay, Now the first point to notice is that the steel pole has an outer diameter of 300 mils. This indicates that it's hollow because we have a different inner diameter for every section. Uh, we've got a shear modulus of 80,000 megapascals. Okay, now the way this is divided is the top section has a has an anti-clockwise moment of 20 kilonewton meters. It has a length of one meter and a thickness of two millimeters. Okay, the middle section has a clockwise moment of 25. So as you can see, the different direction between anti-clockwise and clockwise, clockwise being the negative twisting moment and anti-clockwise being the positive. Okay, so the middle section has a clockwise moment of 25, a length of 1 meter and a thickness of 4 millimeters. The bottom section has a 30 kilonewton meter anti-clockwise moment, also has a length of 1 meter and a thickness of 6 mils. Okay, so notice how we have different thicknesses throughout the section, but they all have equal length and they're subjected to different moments. So the objectives are to, 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 cut, to draw the twisting moment diagram, the TMD, we need to calculate the maximum shear stress of each section. Now the way this is done is we have to find the J value for each section. Okay. Um, the reason we find a different J value of each section is because they all have different thicknesses. So the diameter is going to be different. Okay. Since it's hollow. 